Hello. Thanks again for joining us for this episode. I'm Bill Fairman, and this is Wendy Sweet. And and yes, this, I am. <laughs> this episode, we're going to discuss what to expect as an investor, but it's really more of a description of our fund, how it operates, what it is we invest in, when everything happens. And so, uh, yeah, let's just get started off. So we, th this fund makes loans and they're called hard money loans and bridge loans. Mm -hmm. So what is a bridge loan? Mm -hmm. A bridge loan is a loan that is bridging the gap from here to here. In a nutshell, if you're an investor and you're either buying a house to rehab, buying a lot to put a house on, mm -hmm. buying a small apartment complex that is distressed, needs to be updated, and they call it stabilized. So mm -hmm. let's say it's only 60% occupied. For the area, 85% occupied is capacity being stabilized is making sure that it's stabled, mm -hmm. stabilized or st <laughs> stable like a horse. Yeah. Well, 85% <laughs> would be stable for the market. So you want to bring it up to 85% occupancy right. and all of these are going to happen with one or two exit strategies mm -hmm. for the uh, borrower. Right. Right. So you're either going to sell the house. Mm -hmm. Or refinance or it. Or you're going to refinance it because you're going to rent it out. Right. Same thing with a Any commercial thing. property. You're Apartment either going to sell it at mm -hmm. a profit because now it makes more money and it's worth more. Or you're going to refinance it with a traditional bank because our payments are going to be way too high for you to make any money if you're renting it. That's right. <laughs> and we want our money back. Um, <laughs> yes. So... That's what we invest in. We typically are only going to invest in our backyard or we're going to make loans in our backyard. Right. Now our backyard is the Southeast. Mm -hmm. We are located in Rock Hill, South Carolina. That is a bedroom community of Charlotte, North Carolina. So about 75% of the loans that we do are in the Charlotte market. Right. Uh, but we do, most, well, all the states that touch North and South mm -hmm. Carolina, plus mm -hmm. a, a, a couple more. So those are the geographic areas. The types of properties that we do, we, we mentioned single family, multifamily, we do self storage. Heck, we even do mobile home parks, mm -hmm. but they're all going to be income producing other than the fix and flip uh, properties. Right. So you have a couple of exit strategies with those. We are really more defensive of a fund. And what we mean by that is that we're not chasing yield. Right. Our ideal borrower is somebody that has been around a while. Our ideal property type is going to be on the affordable housing mm -hmm. side of things. Very vanilla. And, you know, affordable housing in different parts of the country are different everywhere. In our market, it's under 300,000 mm -hmm. if you're a single family resident. We're looking for that piece of property that is going to be valued by the largest number of possible buyers. <laughs> if that makes sense. What a big target. Yeah. We want a big so target. So in the conventional loan space, the most valued uh, property is the single family resident mm -hmm. in a subdivision with 2.5 kids playing in the mm -hmm, front yard mm -hmm. and anything outside of that piece of pie gets a little bit more risky. If you get a $12,000 house, how many people want to buy a $12,000 house? Well, most people would say, Oh yeah, I'll take that. Do you really want to live there? <laughs> <laughs> Good place for you. Probably not. Life. <laughs> and at the same time, not too many of us can afford million dollar houses right, either. So right. we want to be in that sweet spot where we can sell to a, first time homeowner, someone that's downsizing, mm -hmm. a real estate investor or somebody renting. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you can't rent a million dollar house and get the same return on investment than you can $150,000. Right. Right. So that's the space that we're trying to lend in. We call it uh, defensive and being conservative because while we're not trying to hit the big home runs, we're trying to stay in that market that, uh, worst thing happens 
like 2008 and mm -hmm. we end up owning all the properties, we can still rent them out for what our expected exactly. return is going to be. Exactly. So as our fund goes, what happens in our fund? Well, number one, everything happens on the quarters. Mm -hmm. That means you get paid on the quarters. We close out the quarters. You get into the fund on the quarters. doesn't mean we won't take your money before that. And we'll get into some detail later on that, but everything happens on the quarters. You get your statements on the quarter. We pay out on the quarter. And then annually we have a meeting uh, with all the members. We typically just do a, a big zoom uh, webinar because mm -hmm. you can't, we currently have what 97 uh, right. investors. It's hard to get 97 people on the same zoom call. <laughs> so we do what's called a zoom webinar where, uh, you can have thousands of people on there, but they have to type in a little chat thing instead of actually having their face on there. And then we, you know, we contact uh, our investors uh, quite often. Uh, Wendy and I will do uh, videos all the time. Let, let folks know what's going on with the industry. Uh, we, we want everybody to, to be informed as much as possible. I think I mentioned this on another show that we have three sets of eyes on our, on our books. Mm -hmm the fund, you can invest with a, an IRA traditional, you can invest with a, a Roth IRA, you mm -hmm. can invest in cash, uh, you can invest with a trust, mm -hmm. you can invest in a uh, solo 401k. Mm -hmm. Our minimum investment is 50,000. But like I said before, most people put in a hundred. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure that uh, you're, you're an accredited investor. So we have an onboarding site that we'll put you through. Plus, but, if but we have to interview are, you first. Isn't it if your kids, you have children that still live at home under the age of 18, is it 18? Yeah. Or? Your dependents under 18, you can invest their money because you have the power of attorney. But as soon as they turn 18, you got to get their money out. I have to give you back their money mm -hmm. unless you want to donate them enough money so they can be accredited. Yeah. <laughs> That's always <laughs> an option. <laughs> I'm sure they would appreciate that. At the same time, we're not going to hold property in that type of a fund. We only make loans uh, in that, in, in that type of a fund. One of the biggest benefits of the fund is that you get the opportunity to compound over time. Right. Uh, was it Einstein or I think Einstein said it. Well, anyway, I think he said it was the eighth wonder of the world <laughs> compounded returns. Yeah. <laughs> so let me give you an example. And this is purely number example. If you were making a 10% annual rate of return at the end of the year, you'd have 10% more than what you put in. <laughs> if you compound over 10 years, that same 10% annualized return, meaning you're taking that earning every quarter and you're adding it to your balance at the end of 10 years, you'd be North of 16% return. And you've done nothing more than just allow the balance to grow. To roll over. And that is why it's the compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we love compounded returns. Yes, now, we do. it's a little bit different on the, on the notes side of things where you're going to receive payments monthly in the fund. You're going to get your returns quarterly, whether you take payments or whether you compound it. If you're in a note, you're going to get payments. You cannot compound it. And that's why we tell people, if you're accredited, the best place to put your money is in a fund because what happens when I pay you monthly payments? What do you do with that money? I put it in the bank until I have enough money to make another investment and I have to wait until that happens. That's right. right. So is that, are those monthly payments earning anything? No, they're sitting right. there waiting to be used. And then the other benefit is once your money is in the fund, it's always working. Always working. When mm -hmm. you're in a loan, what happens when it pays off? It's sitting there waiting to be used again. That's right. So if, for example, you're making an 11% interest rate on a note, and it takes you, and that note pays off within a year, and it takes you another month to put it out, to get it out there in another deal. 
your actual uh, annualized rate of return is like 9.49%. Right. It and it only took that one month yeah. to drop it from 11 to 9.49. That's pretty much it on the fund. I know there's a, there would be a, a lot of other questions. I want you to go to carolinahardmoney.com and click on the tab that says investor. Mm. And that'll tell you, give you a little bit more information and there'll be a little questionnaire there. If you want more information on the fund, we got tons of videos on it. Uh, there's a way to schedule a, a con free consultation with, mm -hmm. with us to mm -hmm. talk about the fund. We want you to read the PPM, the term sheets. What are we doing on our next show, Wendy? Let's see. Our next show, we're going to be talking about the differences between hard money and bank loans. And that's a great topic because yeah, there's absolutely. a lot of differences. <clears throat> yeah. And why you would need a hard money loan if you can uh, qualify for a bank loan. Right, right. Right. All right. So next show, we're going to discuss more on the borrowing side and, mm -hmm. and the advantages of, of hard money versus uh, bank. And there's a place for both. That's Don't right. get me wrong. That's right. And we'll get into that. So for now, it was wonderful having you with us. <laughs> Don't forget to <laughs> subscribe, uh, hit the like button, please. Yes, please. Uh, Scott always tells us that uh, we get paid by the likes. I haven't seen monetary notice that I had a like I on it. I see some of them <laughs> dripping off of there now. <laughs> and then uh, again, our website, carolinahardmoney.com. If you're interested in investing, click on the investor tab. Have a great day. Thank so you. thank you so much for joining us. If you really like what you heard, you want to see some more switch over here or <laughs> here or perhaps there. There's more episodes, but they're somewhere. Yeah. I think Click they're, it on. They're up. By the way, subscribe and like us as well. Please. <laughs>